This film is going to introduce the user interface of TurboCAD and show you how you can change it so that it best suits your purpose. First of all, you'll notice that the interface uh, defaults to a black surround. If you don't like the black surround, you can change that to a lighter color by going to Tools, Workspace, Customize. Where it says Styles and Themes, if you click onto that, you'll see it's defaulted to default, obviously. If you change that to TurboCAD Classic, it'll go to a light colored screen. Also, we have lots of tools down the left hand side and the right hand side, two columns of, of tools, many of which you probably won't require. If you go to the top of the column and notice when the uh, cursor changes, if you left click, keep your finger down, you can drag those tools into the middle of your drawing area and the same to the right. Now this is a bit of a, a bagatelle of, of different tools. We've got some uh, line tools for 2D work and we've got some 3D tools here. And down in this bottom one here, we've got copying tools, but all sorts of other things, bits and pieces. We've got some 3D stuff, adding and subtracting, lighting tools. Chances are you're not going to be needing lots of those, or certainly the ones you do need, we can always get from other places up here in Modify perhaps. So just to clear the screen a little, I'll get rid of those two. Personally, I will also do the same for this one up here. All of these tools we can get from other places. So I'm going to close that down. Now, in the process of drawing, if there are tools you need, say, for example, you need to copy tools and we've just deleted the, uh, the link to the copy tools. If we take the cursor to the top right of our screen here where there's no tools and right click, all the tools will come up. So if it's the copy ones we want, we simply click onto the copy tools. They've popped out on the left. I can close that down. And then these copy tools, if I wish, I could put up there. Next, you'll notice that it's defaulted to inches. It's made in America. Uh, if that doesn't suit you, we can change that by going to File, Page Setup Wizard. You see it's defaulted to English. We can change that to Metric and go Next. If we choose Metric, it defaults to Millimeters. Uh, if that doesn't suit you, click onto the arrow here and you can choose Meters or Centimeters, whatever. Defaults are six decimal places. You don't need to show that on a drawing, so you can leave that. You can only show, you can show any number of decimal places you wish or none at all. Next. Here we give it a name, but we don't care about that. We'll do that later. This says we're, it's default into full size, which is what we want. This is about where we put drawings on paper. We'll do that later. And what's important is to click here where it says save settings. If we say save settings, that means that when we next time we go to file and start a new drawing by going file, new, new from scratch, it's going to open up the way we've customized it. A few other things we can do under options, program setup, general, last window layout. Again, we've put this, uh, we put the copying tools up here. So if we make sure we click onto last window layout, they will be there. They will ensure they're there each time. Desktop, rulers, it shows the rulers. I don't need the rulers personally because I know how big the drawing is I'm working on. So I get rid of those. That'll do us for now. Now, to get the tools out we need, we can go to Tools, Palettes, Tools. Here's all our 2D tools. And this is the Deluxe version. Everything we've done so far works for the Deluxe and the Pro version. This is the Deluxe and here's our 2D tools. Now, the Snap modes, it will default to a number of snaps on. And down the bottom here where it says Snap and Geo, they would be black. 
you can use the snaps or personally I use keyboard shortcuts for snaps so I always turn these off I turn all these off and just have this one on here which says no snap the snaps for TurboCAD are single key shortcuts and are all under help TurboCAD help topics keyboard here's all the keyboard shortcuts we can use with TurboCAD and halfway down are the single key snap shortcuts so these are all the 2d tools under sketch if we click on here we've got modify but the modify tools we can find from up here as well and 3d model here's our 3d model tools in deluxe if we go to the pro version we can see we've got lots more 3D tools. In sketch mode, the 2D tools are more or less identical. There's a few extra things we can do with the uh, 2D tools in Pro, but essentially they're the same. So we choose again, we've got a circle here. We can see with the circle is highlighted, which means that's the tool we're in. The grid defaults to be being on but alt g will turn that off alt g will turn that back on again so personally i have those tools out now in 3d mode you'll often want to use 2d tools as well and probably don't want to keep going back to sketch to pick up the tool and then going back to model so what we can do is we can put some of our tools on the right click of our mouse. So when I right click my mouse at the beginning, you'll see there's all these different tools, which I don't really want. If I go to tools, workspace, oops, sorry, tools, workspace, customize, pop up toolbars. Now, if I turn these ones off, these are the default ones and turn the tools on the 2D tools that I I'm going to be using so say I'm going to be using the circles and the lines I click on those under pop-up toolbars close that means now that when I right click my mouse there are the tools so if I want a rectangle I can do that in 3d mode I might want to change the angle that I'm looking at this thing at and for that I'd need standard views but standard views are no longer available so I go to the top I right click I find standard views, standard views here, close, here's my standard views. So if I want to look at it in isometric, I click there and I can click a box. And if I want to now draw a line, I can right click, pick a line tool and draw a line. If I push down on my wheel of my mouse, I can spin the drawing around. Turn the grid off, Alt G. And that's the end to the introduction. Thank you.